Now we're giving the product of two integers, and we want to figure out what is the largest, or sometimes we want to figure out the smallest possible sum of the two numbers. So two numbers add up times together. Let's say like a times b is equal to 24. And we want to figure out what is the largest possible sum of a and b. Um, the one thing we do know that is that a and b are integers. So we can make a chart of factors. So a, b, and a plus b. So one possibility is 1 times 24 is 24. And the sum is 25. Uh, and then we have uh, 2 times 12 is 24. And the sum is 14. 3 times um, 8 is 24. And that sum is 11. 4 times 6 is 24. The sum is 10. And then it gets smaller back the other way. So 8 times 3 uh, is 14 and back up to 25. So it turns out that when we have, when we are given the sum and we want to find the smallest or largest product, we want the numbers to be as close together as possible. But when we have, when we have the product and we want to find the largest sum, then we want them to be as far away as possible. So they're like inversely related. So in this case, the largest possible sum is when they're as far together, far apart as possible. So that's 1 times 24, which is equal to 25.